Hi there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is Skyrim Episode 15. Now, when we left off, we had just completely slaughtered all of the uh, bandits within uh, da, 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 Ember Shard. That's, that's the place I'm at right now. Ooh, glad I picked that up. And uh, I'm just going through looting the uh, place, seeing what I could, you know, milk out of this location, because, you know, I sometimes forget. Never hurts to double check, you know. I'm not stupid. Shush. Anyway, um, there's some things I was going to come through and get later, um, mine the iron ore out of here. But that'd be for a different time when I have a house. Because I'm going to be making the house. Because I prefer them. As opposed to the ones offered in uh, the holds already built. And they don't really have that much freedom to make it as you want. So. Yeah, we'll be doing that. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that was weird. Now, let's move on. Because we don't need to go here. We need to go... Where we need to go... Let's <laughs> go to Falkreath. Serving jail time causes some skills to lose their accumulated progress to the next value. The longer the sentence, the more skills that are affected. That kind of sucks. That's why you don't get sent to jail, kids. Don't do that. Be good. Julianos is the god of wisdom and logic. Usually associated with magic, he is often revered by wizards. He has a shrine in the Temple of Divines in solitude. <laughs> the skeletons of the dragons are still there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is cool beans. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this little weird thing that happens is instead of raising them with that spell you launch them <laughs> uh, it's always fun doing that I do need to get a better flame spell though that is necessary okay go to the longhouse <sighs> how are you guys doing good Good. All right. Talk to Sidgear. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Damn right. Yes. What is it that you want? I've killed the leader of Ember Shard. Teach them to stop paying me. <laughs> that was the, that was what a it was. Reward for your service. You know what? Seven hundred and fifty. I like you. You're not Fuck afraid yeah. to get your hands dirty. Yeah. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath. Ah, <laughs> yes. Talk to my steward if you're interested. I am. Is there anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room in my court for a new thane. <laughs> it's an honorary title, mainly. Well, yeah. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. Mm hmm. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. Mm hmm. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. It would be an honor. On your way then. All right. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. That sounds a little creepy, but okay. Why not? Now uh, we'll continue on to uh, assisting the people of Falkreath, which, if I remember right, you can help this guy here if he hasn't glitched out. Last playthrough I did with Stray, this guy glitched out and wouldn't talk to me at all. Was full of wanderers and warriors like yourself. Those were better days. I bet they were. Unless yes! you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. You said something about a burial? Well, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. Mm -hmm. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I bet. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. 
Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. I can't blame Could him. Would you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arke? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barret's soul. Fair enough. I'd be honored. Thank you. All right. All right, then. Now, uh, I'll go and deal with that. Vampire hunters or something. And yes, I'm aware. Might consider joining up myself. I will be joining up myself later on. <laughs> it's still twitching. <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit. Okay. Purple mountain flower. That's always necessary. Oh, yeah. This one. This is sad. A little bit here. Ooh, nightshade. I'll be hunting around for that because that's always useful. It's not like these graves need it. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. Mm. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal, and in the end... Why are you looking at me? Peace. Listen to him! May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius, and may we one day rejoin them in eternity. That was good. That was good. But I need to talk to you. Hey. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Fall Creek. I take care of the shrine. His eyes are a little messed up. Uh, I have a delivery from Thadgir. Ah, Barret's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. No, they do not. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. Oh, you didn't need to do that. 400. Yeah, he could have. That that could. That was nice. Thank you. Life is far too short. Hey, there's one. Don't waste it. Oh, I plan not to. Now uh, this guy here is one of the farmers of this place. Runs Corpse Light Farm, I think. A sad time. Who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. Oh, jeez. How did she die? She was... He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Jesus Christ. Who did this? Sinding. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? Yeah, that is a quest that we're not going to follow right now. We'll probably follow it later, but not anytime soon. Uh, why does this town have such a large cemetery? The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. Really? I'm no scholar. But I know that a lot of battles have been fought over the course of history. After each battle, more dead were buried, and the graveyard got bigger. Mm -hmm. I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. I wouldn't doubt it. Possibly even the biggest graveyard in all of Temriel. And I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Don't understand either, my friend. This is one spot you can also get a free... Uh extra roll for that but uh I have to drop a couple cabbages first so that way I'm not selling all of them to him you should take more care leaving things lying about Stop. here I I did that on purpose Jesus Hubert Christ dude uh. okay do that better not do that again I did that on purpose now come here Indara and I like to keep to ourselves and run our farm. I don't blame you. I have cabbage to sell. Honest pay for honest work. Yeah, honest work. Hey, there it is. Number two. A psychopath, I assume. Oh, there. He just rolled over here. 
Now there's another one, if I remember right, but I don't know where it is, but we're going to do it today. We're going to do it today so we get the Thane ship, and then we're going to buy the house. Actually, let's see how much gold I have right now. Yeah, we have plenty of gold. And uh, we'll, we will need to get some metals from the blacksmith for other things. Ooh, this will... Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. Hmm. The war has been hard on us. Yeah, I can tell. So is the dragons. <laughs> Although, I kind of saved you from that one. What, what else is there? Um... Oh, yeah. Hey, lady. That's an outfit. Sure bones. Handsome man in Falkreath. And don't you forget it. Alright, dead man's drink. It's one of the things I like about this town. They kind of stick to their theme quite a bit. And, uh... Hey! The bard. Where's... Where's Dengear? Where the fuck is that old fart? Come on. Uh, Jesus Hubert Christ. He's disappeared, so I'll just make potions until he comes out. Okay, let's not do that. Let's make one of those. Um, Frost Miriam and Thistle Branch. That'd be good to have. Because dragons don't only breathe fire, so it's always good to have a good store of extra elves ear. Should keep that. And uh, I prefer to use that for the big resist poison and cure disease thing. Other than that, I uh, think that's about it. Uh, I'll unlock more potion recipes later. Um, that music's actually kind of soothing. Need left today. Today was a little long and a little aggravating. Co-workers being dumb, you know. You know how that goes. If you don't, you lucky son of a... Okay, never mind. I'm going to get back on track. Where are all these flowers coming from? I could have sworn I picked all of them. This is Corpse Light Farm. Where in hell's bells is Dengear? This is the barracks and the hole for where they keep the prisoners. That's Grave Concoctions. We've already been there. God damn it. Where is Dengar? Ah! Oh, could use that. Yeah, there we go. And I'm nearly over the weight. Shit. Hockey mushrooms. Uh, do that. That works. And, hey, Dengear's house. There we go. Didn't figure he'd be in his own house. <laughs> Normally he's out and about. If I remember correctly, anyway. There you I are. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No. What can I do? Not at all. Friend? Nah. I was Jarl once. But I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. Was it now? You say there's a plot against you. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those okay. Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night I saw Lord the Blacksmith writing a letter. Oh, dear uh, God. Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that letter. Dear Jesus Hubert Christ. Uh, this is like the conspiracy theorists that think fucking vapor trails left by jets or chemical trails dumping aluminum into the atmosphere. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. It will be done. Good. Only to shut you up. Oh boy. Mind what you say. Hey. Thank you for letting me have this stuff. For free. Here we go. 
see, is there anything else I can take? I mean, borrow from you. Oh shit, on a burger. Fuck it. Fuck it. There we go. And... Saber cat pelt, huh? I can take that. Even though I'm already overweight, I'm just... Fuck it, at this point. You know. Might as well go for broke, right? And... Be mindful. Uh -huh. My maid Tikla has been known to pass information to that pompous that how you pronounce nephew name? of mine, Sidgir. Hmm. And nothing I need. Lost legends. And not worth reading it right now. Oh shit! I forgot that actually had a uh, quest in there. Galdor legend. Again, we'll look into that another time. But, uh, not right now. That's Tikla, if I remember correctly. And might as well break down the leather. Uh, yeah, do that one. That is her name, right? That is the right one. Yeah, that's Tekla. I would have figured it was Tekla. Uh. Weird Nordic pronunciations. Oh well. Flames in my hands. Okay. Hey, goat. Got some weird horns there. This is slow moving. Ugh. There we go. And leather. Let's make a bunch of helmets. Because I have the leather and need the skill boost. Any silver I have? Nope. Okay. Anything else that I can do? Maybe? Nope. Apparently not. Loop-a-doodle. Back out and talk to Lod. Did you see a hound on the road? Oh yeah. A fine, strong creature um, that's been wandering near town. The guard at the gate mentioned a dog. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but You're a could stocky use a fierce, fella. loyal beast to keep me company. Barely if have a neck. If you were willing to retrieve him, <laughs> or may I give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road? I could be convinced to catch him. Oh. It's a smart man to demand something up front for his work. Damn right. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Fair enough. Of course, I'm not actually going to do that, but... Jesus! <laughs> Fucking eat the fresh meat. Fuck. That thing's heavy as shit. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm mm -hmm. loyal to Dengear first and the Empire second. Sounds like loyalty is important to you. I was Dengear's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Apparently not so much. Dengir don't trust you for shit. Jeez. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Oh, I will. Uh, some metals. We need corundum ingots for, uh, the house making. About five should be good. And, you know, dwarven metal ingots. That'd be good for, uh, when I start making better armor. For myself. And, let's see. I can just mine that, ooh, the, that, ooh. Iron later. There we go. It finally got out of my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm good there. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Oh, I will when I can. Yep. 
Yep, there we go. There's our opportunity. There we go. And haha. -ha. In without a hitch. Surprised he wouldn't have heard the door open from where he was over there. Private letter. Need all the iron ore you can dig up. Double my usual order. I know the mine isn't as rich as it used to be, but I'll pay extra. Okay. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Nah. I'm a good guy. This is about as bad as it's gonna get. Oh, fuck! I just realized I didn't plug in my <laughs> computer when I started this. Shit on a biscuit. Okay. Ten gears over he here. There you are. I was young. Yeah, you told me the story. Here's Did lots I, of leather. What's this? Letter. Some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up. Uh -huh. He's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lods smith up more swords and armor for them. Mm -hmm. Good work. Take this. Four hundred gold for that, and I completed I assisting. Hey. That seems a good spot to uh, stop the episode and put the charger into my computer. <laughs> Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like my illustrious voice and you want to watch more videos. Click the like button if you like this particular video and you want to see more. And, you know, comments, shares, you know, something. <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat, signing off.